Hey guys, today I'm going to start working with the A20M. Um, what I want to do is I want to print this model by Matter Hackers. It's actually their uh, 3D fill. Um, it's a cool little, uh, like a moon man or a spaceman. I don't know how you want to, what, what you want to call them. <laughs> Looks like a little astronaut. And uh, so what, what I decided to do is go ahead and, and print it using the black and the bronze PLA from AMZ 3D. I'm going to print it out with the, uh, so it's a two, dual color extrusion. I don't do a whole lot of the dual color stuff. Um, I really wish I would have done more with the A10, but uh, since G-Tech sent me this A20M, I definitely want to, to utilize this printer a little bit more. Um, it took some work to get the profile all set up, and also I had to reset the E-steps, and I'll get all into that in, in a future video. But uh, let's go ahead and try it out and just see if this profile is going to work from Kira. And if it does, then I'll definitely release it to the public. Anyway, guys, I'll set it all up and I'll see you at the end of the time lapse. Seven hours exactly is how long this took. I think I've got that profile just about just about dialed in. And let's see if the I did go with a brim to make sure everything stayed stuck down to the bed. And so far it seems to be doing all right. Seems to be separating all right from the feet. I think I just lost some little pieces there underneath in the tread of his shoes. Let's see. Yeah, I lost a little bit. That's all right, though. It's actually cleaning up pretty good. I'm kind of happy with that. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to cut some of it off with uh, Chuck's uh, tool, but it actually came right off, no problem at all. And I do have a little bit of wisps on the back. Of course, where it uh, goes to the prime tower. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to keep that. <laughs> I'll put that in my pocket sometime. <laughs> but that turned out great. The lines look really good on it. I don't see anything out of the ordinary on the print. I could probably slow it down and get rid of some of the little artifacts to it. But it looks like the purging was enough it looks like the prime tower took and uh, changed a lot of the color changed to happen just right to get rid of these wisps i'll just use this heat gun and i can always use, use a little brush to kind of knock them off a little bit more that'll work just a little bit get the get the worst off of them there we go. Yeah, look at that. That turned out pretty good. I'm I like the way that the color change happened. It doesn't look like it bled through very much. Which this bronze PLA is very fairly transparent. Actually, if, if you can really tell when it comes to that very first layer, uh, maybe you can't on the camera, but you you can you can definitely see through see through this to a certain extent I mean it's not that dense of a color so the fact that it uh, purged enough to where the black and the bronze didn't intermix that's pretty good I'm very happy with that profile I will definitely show the profile I'll put a link to it in the video description so feel free if you've got an A20M and you want to uh, want to kind of skip forward and, and <laughs> <laughs> get a good head start at I will share the profile uh, later on I will uh, of course do a quick tutorial on on uh, 
Kira showing exactly how I've got everything set up. So that if you want to create your own profile, that, and I still recommend creating your own profile. That way you know exactly what you've done and then the adjustments you can make. But yeah, I'm really happy with that way that turned out. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care. And I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. When you have a chance, please check out my website, jimmyshawstidbits.com. We can purchase merchandise from my Tee Public store, as well as check out my Amazon affiliate link. Anything purchased from one of those helps the channel tremendously, and I thank you for it. Also, if you'd like to support the channel as many of these people have, please check out my Patreon link over here. You can support the channel from there. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe over here. And if you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give one of these a shot. I think you're going to like them, especially that one over there. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Take care.